thank you, uh, moderator. Uh, firstly, I would like to express uh, my thanks and uh, uh, gratitude uh, for being provided uh, this opportunity to be one of the panelists here on this site event uh, that is uh, addressing the situation of human rights, particularly uh, looking at challenges facing human rights defenders uh, that protect lives and then also that um, you know advocate for the protection of the exercise of this right. And also just to mention that um, in South Africa has collected 247 uh, recommendations during its third uh, UPR cycle. And uh, URISA it was one of the uh, civil society organizations that uh, advocated for some of the pert pertinent recommendations uh, that uh, you know, consist on uh, uh, economic social rights, uh, civil and political rights, environmental rights, gender-based violence, and uh, you know, sexual minority, as well as uh, persons with albinism, and uh, uh, you know, uh, and various groups uh, that uh, uh, you know, rights have been uh, reported to have been grossly uh, violated. And uh, regarding the land rights and housing. Uh, I must say that uh, it is very unfortunate that South Africa is a country that emerges from a brutal apartheid when land and housing was regulated by, a, you know, very uh, segregated policies that discriminated upon persons, African people or black people uh, based on their color, because uh, during apartheid era, uh, black people had no right to land ownership. Occupation of land was regulated by apartheid policies that you know, you know, demarcated people or segregated people, and uh, people were you know, opt, you know uh, were entitled to lease. There were different forms of policies that were regulating the movement and uh, occupation of, of property. And uh, so uh, it is there only after the advent of democracy that uh, the government, um, you know, began, uh, you know, you know, putting all these rights there in our Bill of Rights. Legislations is there promoting uh, land distribution. However, I must say that uh, progress has really been very, very slow uh, to the fact that. Uh, uh, you know, um, where, you know, a recommendation was passed on South Africa uh, to uh, encouraging the government to optimize land distribution and um, also uh, ensure that the land reforms, you know, provide support, adequate support and training to beneficiaries and ensuring that there's close consultation with all the stakeholders. All the stakeholders, it means, you know, disadvantaged communities, previously marginalized communities, they will be consulted uh, for any land reform or development that the government uh, is putting forward. We have seen that, uh, you know, what is really, um, uh, growing in South Africa is, uh, you know, fear that has been instilled that, uh, you know, uh, restrict freedom of expression and participation uh, in, 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 in land distribution or in, 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 in you know, advocating for, 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 for the right to land or to housing. And uh, we have seen that uh, these uh, uh, you know, uh, restrictions that are, you know, uh, coming uh, not in policy, but in some practices that are very arbitrary uh, to persons that occupy land, especially within the, the mining uh, communities where there's, uh, uh, you know, extractive corporations that are coming into South Africa to, uh, you know, uh, do mining 
And we've seen that in these communities, this is where extrajudicial killings you know, have happened for many years without proper investigations. We have seen that, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, these uh, defenders are being targeted. Uh, there's uh, arbitrary arrest. There's, um, you know, there's, uh, you know, a fear, you know, uh, to speak or to engage in communities. There's harassment. Uh, for, for people to even raise these issues around climate change. Uh, uh, you know, regarding the, the, the extractive industry, a recommendation was passed, you know, uh, that South Africa must ensure that they develop laws uh, that compels or that rules uh, the, the mining companies uh, or extractive industry accountable for provision, for sub, you know, contributing or supporting, uh, you know, housing uh, programs. For example, the mining communities they have, you know, uh, you know, undertaken a, a contract whereby there has been a commitment that they will be, you know, contributing to social, economic, and development in communities. That has not uh, taken taken effect. You know, to the to the to the to the to the minimum, uh, you know, expectation. Uh, we have seen that uh, the government has uh, has uh, actually uh, done little uh, to promote the right to land, to promote the right to housing, and to really uh, uh, you know condemn uh, human rights violations that target uh, you know uh, human rights uh, defenders. Uh, we understand that with regard to Abashali Basem Jondolo, which is a, a community that has, uh, you know, uh, experienced these um, assassinations, mysterious killings uh, that have led many of their leaders, you know, uh, executed. And this made us, you know, uh, happen in a very brutal manner that, uh, you know, undermine the constitutional rights to life, the right to life is a non-derogable right. It is a right that the government, uh, you know, has a duty uh, to protect and uh, to ensure that uh, it's, uh, it's it's promoted at, at, at in communities and ensuring that you know uh, uh, companies uh, that are coming in to extract uh, minerals uh, they comply with the law and respect domestic domestic laws uh, you know we we know that uh, the, the, there was a recommendation that was uh, specifically passed on South Africa that uh, it needs to make progress uh, in providing uh, adequate housing and have programs such as integrated uh, human settlement uh, grant and urban settlement development grant. And uh, also, it, it was required to continue making efforts to ensure that uh, the household and even uh, schools, you know, in, in communities as well as health facilities are conducive and are made accessible, as well as community, uh, you know, have a safe water and sanitation. Now, these are the rights that continue to be violated and defenders of this right have been targeted, uh, you know, despite that uh, five years ago, such strong recommendations have been given on South Africa uh, to promote this right. The government has done little in ensuring that, uh, you know, all citizens in the country enjoy their rights and access to housing and land, you know, is realized in a fair and equitable manner. We are recommending uh, for the government uh, to ensure that uh, these extrajudicial killings and the persecutions, harassment and intimidation and the arbitrary arrest you know, of, 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 of land rights uh, defenders and housing in South Africa you know, are condemned and the prosecution of the perpetrators of this right. Uh, we know that uh, some, some of these uh, suspects were arrested. Some of them have been um, 
convicted uh, with 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 uh, heavy sentences. However, we know there are others uh, where government has not made any progress, and we we want the government to really uh, improve this and and uh, you know speedy up you know the prosecutions of all those that have been uh, murdered uh, for 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 exercising this right uh, of, of of land. And, and in housing, uh, ensuring that communities live without fear and uh, enjoying the freedom of expression and association uh, without fear of reprisals. I thank you very much. Thank you.